Here at Newark Cemetery is a statue of General Sikorsky, who was born on the 20th of May, 1881, and died on the 4th of July, 1943. Polish Prime Minister and Commander-in-Chief of the Polish Armed Forces in exile, 1939 until 1943, based in France, and from 1940 in Britain. Putting the Polish armed forces under British operational command, he told one British general, I'm handing over to you the most precious thing left in Poland, her army. The Polish forces were proven an important contribution to the ultimate Allied victory. A victorious advocate of Polish cause in navigated programmatic wartime partnership with Allied powers, testimony to a statesmanship, ability to achieve the best possible result in very difficult circumstances. Winston Churchill said to him, I had a high regard for him and admired his pause and calm dignity and so many trials. He was a man of remarkable preeminence, both as a statesman and as a soldier. General Sikorsky was killed on active service on the 4th of July, 1943, returning from inspecting Polish troops in the Middle East when the aircraft carrying him and his encouraged entourage crashed into the sea off Gibraltar soon after takeoff. For, 90, for 50 years General Sikorsky was buried on the 16th of July 1943. We returned from inspecting Polish troops. We were grateful for his contribution. So after being buried in Newark Cemetery for 50 years, until he was exhumed on the 13th of September 1993, and his, his coffin was taken to the parish church of Our Lady of Madeline, Mary Madeline Church in Newark, for a high mass, the next day there was a high mass on the 14th of September and special arrangements from the Prince Philip did one of the readings and General Sikorsky was returned to Poland on the 14th of September and on the 17th of September he was buried in his homeland. Let freedom ring.